Well, good morning, everybody. Sun is beating down on me. Man, it's a nice day. The sun comes out, the clouds part. I'm no longer on call, and Ace Daily starts now. Can't have a perfect day, but hey, that's life down here in Texas. I'm gonna make the best out of what I got and do what I can. Uh, see you guys in a bit. You gotta continue working. You gotta sludge through the day. Sludge through? Huh. Gotta get through the day. Shouldn't be that bad. I'm at my first break already. Second break's lunch, and then I work throughout the afternoon. So I always like to look at right now as being a third through of the day. So. See you all in a bit. All right, we're a good way to go out on an adventure. Come along. just west of Jonah, Texas. And this is State Highway 29. I wanted to show you how close to the road I am. I mean, there's the uh, National Railing. And there was a sign that showed that there was a historical marker. Well, yeah, there's a historical marker. It's right here. I mean, we're talking, there's the road. Right there. So, let's see what we got here. We've got the double file trail, which was laid out about 1828 by Delaware Indians. The double file trail got its name because two horsemen could ride it side by side. So that that's that historic monument, historic sign, I should say. I guess over here is the Santa Fe expedition. The dramatic chapter of the administration, 1838 to 1841, Republican Texas President Maribu B. Lamar, where of United States Mexico commerce crossing Texas by the Santa Fe Trail near the Canadian River, President Lamar sought similar trade advantages for Texas. So, this has been here since 1970. This one's been 78. All right, so. Pulled off the road. I don't know if y'all heard the cars going by me or not, but currently that's where I am. I've been trying to find some stuff to show you. And the first place I went to, uh, it was a, it's a park, but it's not a state park. And I guess I should have known, but I didn't check first, but they required an admission. And since I'm just gonna go there to, to vlog, didn't really, really feel like paying for it. So I've decided to keep moving on. So I found one thing, so. Let me keep on. I'll see you in a bit. From what I understand, this is Mankin's Crossing. There was a sign back there. I'll have to stop and read it on our way out. All that did was take me across the crossing, back up to the road I turned off of, to get... Hold on, so let me show you. Right there. Mankin's Crossing. The historic crossing on the San Gabriel River is named for pioneer Sam, settler Samuel Mankins, who purchased land along the river in 1849. So this is the, the, the crossing for farmers and uh, the community school, everything, cotton gin stuff was down here. I'm going to cross it again just so y'all can see it. 
and I'm gonna basically show the other side out the window. So here we go. So here we go. We're going across the same crossing. Here's what it looks like. Got this temper bar across the other side, and we're going across and show you the other side. It's not very smooth, so I'm sorry about that. Alrighty. Now I'm going to drive back up to State Highway 29 and continue to our next location. So that was Mankins Crossing. You crossed it twice the same way, but you saw both sides. So all right, moving forward. It's in the middle of cornfields. I'm in the middle of cornfields. that I planned on going to today the uh, GPS coordinates didn't even give me close to where they were supposed to get me so we're going to try one more spot and either way that's going to be what we get to tonight and I'll be calling it a vlog so let's see what we got in front of us Town, Texas, and uh, we're getting ready to go over the old, or I don't know if we're going to be able to go over it or not, but we're going to be able to see the old airport bridge. So let's go look at it. So this is the old airport bridge. It is a through truss bridge with a 17 foot 4 inch clearance. It was built in 1922. As you can tell, it is closed. It was bypassed in 1987. There's a roadway bridge. Some cacti here to keep us from crossing. Doesn't look like I want to cross anyway, but there's a weight limit sign up there of it looks like 1,000 pounds, so we'll go look at that. It's also a very unique tree. I know here. All right, let's see how close I can get. Now, I don't know how many of you uh, like bridges, but in my line of work, I see a lot of bridges. So I'm really fascinated, about, uh, fascinated with them, and I always have been, even since I was a little kid. So me being able to see these old relics, it's actually actually fun so please bear with me while I while I do this all right as you can see you're crossing the bridge that replaced this one and it does a 7,000 pound limit here's the old bridge I'll put some stats on the bridge right here on the bottom of the screen Berry Creek.
Looks like the other entrance to the bridge is on private property. Or actually, I don't know. Well, no. Hold on. It is on private property, so I'm not going to go over there. But there is the other ad advance to it. Now we're going to walk back across. place the bridge. It's the old airport bridge. They do want to make sure we don't fall off that bridge and die. Well, I hope you all like this part of the vlog. See what else we can find out. Don't think there's going to be much more, but hey, Never hurts to look. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed my vlog. And remember, if I don't see you in the future, I'll see you in the pasture. Please like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment below. Thank you.